Hi, I'm Dr. Prama Meehan, and in this video, I would like to talk to you about cannabis and oral health. Now, for those of you who know me really well, you probably fell off your chair when you heard about the topic of my video today. What would I be doing talking to you about cannabis? And then you're probably wondering, why would a dentist make a video on this topic? Well, my interest and curiosity was peaked through the work that I do helping patients with their sleep disorders. It was interesting to know that many of those patients have tried CBD oil to help them with their sleep. It helped some and it didn't help others. And then I noticed that I have a lot of patients that have tried a variety of cannabis to help them with their chronic pain. And then recently I had a young man come in for an emergency exam. And at the end of the appointment, he said, you know, doc, I really can't make a decision today because I smoked too much weed earlier. Well, I wasn't gonna let the sun set on that one. That meant I needed to learn about cannabis. Now, I'd actually signed up for a seminar on cannabis and its effect on the body and oral health. Unfortunately, it got canceled due to COVID-19. So I did the next best thing and I did my own research. So let me share my research with you today. So cannabinoid is the main active ingredient in cannabis. There are over a hundred different active ingredients and THC and CBD are the most commonly known and the most researched. Cannabinoids are produced in the human body, they're found in plants, and they can be manufactured. So I think of cannabinoids as a key, and the key or the cannabinoid will interact with a cell receptor that is present throughout the body. When the key and the lock fit together, they will actually create a body function. And some of those functions include memory, anti-inflammation, helping you with sleep, with anxiety, with your immune function, and so much more. Now for most people, they think of cannabis as an illegal drug for recreational use only. But we know that thousands of Canadians are using cannabis to help them with a variety of their medical conditions. Some of which include fibromyalgia, chronic pain, chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting, anxiety, sleep, and so much more. For me, I really wanted to learn how does cannabis affect the oral health? Well, there's a fair amount of stuff out there about dentistry and cannabis now. One of the biggest negative side effects of cannabis is dry mouth. Dry mouth caused by a decrease in your saliva. If you have left saliva in your mouth, your plaque and food will sit on your teeth for longer periods of time, causing an increased risk of cavities, gingivitis, periodontal disease, and also an overgrowth of a fungus in your mouth, creating candidiasis. Now, is there a link between cannabis smoke and oral cancer? Well, at the present time, none of my research showed an actual link between the two. Now, we know there are a lot of young adolescents using cannabis, which means they're gonna be using it for many, many decades. So there is a lot of research out there right now trying to determine if there is an actual relationship between the two. But presently, I would say we don't know. We're doing a lot of research and there's nothing that is conclusively saying that there is a link between cannabis smoke and oral cancer. That's where I will leave with that one. Another big concern for me obviously is intoxication. If you come into the office intoxicated from cannabis use, I actually can't provide you treatment simply because you can't give me conscious consent to provide treatment. So please don't take cannabis before you come in for your dental treatment. Also with anxiety, you know, for some people when they take can cannabis, it helps to calm them down and for others, it goes the other way. Imagine the stress level for you and for me to treat you if your anxiety levels have increased from using cannabis. So it's very important that you understand how cannabis affects you and please use it wisely. The other big concern for us in a dental office is drug interactions. In my world, we're looking at local anesthetics and epinephrine in local anesthetics. The THC in cannabis can interact with epinephrine and cause a very rapid, fast increase in your heart rate. 
And this can be a really serious problem for anybody that's had a heart attack or is suffering from arrhythmias. So please do not take cannabis if you're coming in for any dental treatment that requires local anesthetic. Now in Canada, cannabis was federally legalized through the recent passing of the Cannabis Act. If you're using cannabis recreationally or for medicinal purposes, please share that information with your dentist. You and I really need to have a conversation about how cannabis is affecting your oral health and what we can do to prevent tooth destruction and also how to make sure that your appointment is safe and healthy. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel for more very interesting topics on oral health. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.